So a pars defect is a small stress fracture uh, that arises in the uh, posterior aspect of uh, a vertebra in the lumbar spine and occasionally in the thoracic spine. Uh, they typically occur in adolescence, so most commonly they're seen in, uh, or they first develop uh, in, in teenagers when people uh, go through the growth spurt. Uh, and they're more common in uh, tall, thin uh, teenagers. They're also slightly more common in people who perform uh, increased levels of sport and particularly in gymnastics. Pars defects uh, occur in around about 5 to 10 percent of teenagers and young adults, uh, although interestingly they can occur without producing any symptoms and they can be just be picked up uh, by chance on an x-ray being performed for other reasons. Uh, the typical symptoms of a Pars defect would be uh, the uh, sudden onset lower back pain, usually triggered during a sporting activity, perhaps in, in a teenage boy playing in the scrum or a gymnast while stretching. Uh, this pain will often settle uh, by itself in the first few weeks or months after the injury. Uh, the treatment for a PARS defect normally in the first instance is a period of withdrawal from normal sporting activities uh, and relative rest. Uh, some surgeons uh, use a brace, which may be a rigid belt uh, that they wear around the lower back, uh, although the evidence that these help is, is quite mixed and so my own preference is simply to give analgesics in a period of abstinence from sport, at least for the first three months. The pain from a PARS defect does not settle down within the first few months, then the treatment options are to either inject a small amount of drug around the fracture to see if it will take the pain away, and if this doesn't work then there are minimally invasive operations that can be carried out to help, although thankfully they're only needed in a very small minority of patients.